Long ago, in a location far from here, there once lived a tree. A tree containing a magic water that allows one to become a god. Most people have never attempted to climb up this great tree, for it is being guarded by the beautiful god, Darcy. For thousands of generations, many have tried to claim this grand grail of water. None have ever succeeded, until one boy changed that destiny, and his name is... <sighs> Come on, Manny, just quit! You've done this over a million times already! Today's the day. <laughs> Still going at it again. That's our Manny for you. Yeah, no doubt his determination is definitely noteworthy. Hey, Sabi, didn't you want to have a go yourself? Nah. I know when I have to have the battle, that's not mine. Still, though. He's been waiting for this for months, so I really don't want to take that away from him. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna do it! He's done it! Manny has climbed the tree! Well, so you actually did it this time. <laughs> See? Your chase got for me this time! <laughs> It's all right now. Rest well, Manny. The fair lady had seen him to his mind, for he wanted to prove himself to never feel lonely again. And so his wish was granted. He gained not only a trusted friend, but a friend for life. In time, those two became connected. The years went on, and days turned into months. These two beings, who were at each other's necks, then formed a peaceful settlement, and they became more than friends. They became kindred spirits, lovers. Here, I want you to have it. Are you sure? But if I drink this, then you're going to die. I, I know, but, but listen, I... There. <laughs> <sighs> Now we can both be immortal. That's surely okay, isn't it? Thank you, Manny. It gets kind of lonely around here. Little did Manny realize, upon drinking it, his life was forever about to be changed. He's going in my head, and, and what's this bushy thing going out my butt? What did you do to me? <laughs> it's a sign of loyalty, and and it's a my little present for you for being so, um, loyal, like a dog. <laughs> so you're stuck like that for good, eh? Yeah, but I'm not too depressed about it. Actually, a nice tail would actually go quite well. You know, whenever I have a free time and I can just, you know, cuddle it in my sleep. It's got like a free teddy bear, you know? <laughs> you seem pretty lax. Well, you seem pretty lax yourself. Did something amazing happen while I've been gone? Well, you could say that. 
But yet again, why should I tell you when you know it's gonna happen? Master Sobby! <laughs> what, what are you doing here? Never mind what I'm doing here. Why isn't your ass at home? Not Sumi's pregnant, you dumb idiot! What are you doing here? You need to come home this instant! Here we are introduced to a hometown. A town that will soon be the birthplace of our hero. This is White Star Village, where it all began. So, you serious, right? Those two are gonna have a baby? I was never informed what exactly happened when I was gone! Well, let's just say that a few things happened lately, Manny, while you were gone. Eventually, Sabi went on a journey, and during that journey, he, he managed to get close to Natsumi. And what he's trying to say is, is that... You know, he chose my daughter to be his one and only, and well, as her father, I can only respect her wishes, but she told me that she wanted this, so... Wait, so... What's that gonna mean? Does that mean I'm gonna be an uncle? Well, uh, technically speaking, uh, well, yes. Woohoo! What's wrong? No warm welcome, Natsumi? <laughs> what what's with that? Is, is that any way you treat your husband? He got the news! He got the news! Sobby, you're taking it too far with this. Well, I just thought, seeing as that we're having a kid, I thought we would like it, you know, a little something to play around with a bit. A few minutes early and you're already stressing about the baby. It's gonna be alright. Well, Sean, what do you think? I don't think it's going to be too stressful. <laughs> I guess your mother's the one who's being paranoid after all. Stop it! So tell me, Munico, what's his name gonna be? Well, um, it's gonna be Minosuke. Minosuke, huh? That's so cute. But, um, first of all, you've had someone who was pregnant before, right? Well, I did. Why'd you ask? Because it hurts. Like, really, really hurts. <laughs> okay, Sabi, you're not going anywhere until you tell us the truth. That's right, man. You stay where you are. Okay, when Natsumi chooses someone on a journey, that's fine. The best man wins. But how the hell did he get you, you cheeky devil, you? I don't know. Well, let's just say that this whole world is a lot of surprises. That's what I learned from Sora. I guess that's just one of them, I guess. I can't believe in me, Sean. <sighs> <laughs> Pathetic. Now. For the spares. Uh, well, today's the day, isn't it? <laughs> well, well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. Now, this is going to be very important. We just got word that somebody attacked the borders, Manny. This is very important. I just hope you know this. What's the big deal? What's going on. Well, although I can't be there, thus I have to be somewhere else at the moment. I'm leaving everything with you. There's likely going to be someone that's trying to stop the birth of this child. I get the feeling. That death is in the air. But until it remains to be seen, I'm not too certain. Which is why I'm leaving protecting Sabi and Natsumi in your hands, okay? Okay, Mr. Sora, I'll trust your judgement. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? You've been overdoing it all morning. Well, it'll soon be worth it once our baby's born, yeah?
No matter what. You are a trustworthy character, Manny, and so I trust you. So, I'll leave everything to you, too. No matter what, I will protect this child for the future of the village. Right now, you can't afford to worry about all this. Foolish mortal. Here. He's finally here. Sean. He's finally here. Oh, baby boy. And he sounds happy too. So proud of you. Not so me. Alright, I know we've just finished off with the pregnancy, but right now, we need to sort out getting out of here before anything bad happens, okay? Yeah, I think now's the right time. I think you're being so brave. Sorry. <laughs> Sabi, step away from your child, or else your friend will die at first sight. Sabi, don't you dare obey his commands! Get Sean out of here now! Please, don't do anything excessive! I don't know what you mean. I'm as calm as can be. <laughs> <laughs> What just happened? That direction... It can't be- NO! <sighs> I just made it. Looks like he's still doing okay. Even after all this time. Oh, no! That, the direction of that... It's the village! He's going after everyone in the village! No! My dad's there! Everyone's there! He's gonna kill them all, Sammy! <laughs> Sumi? Did I deserve to be born or was I just an accident? I played this world. I wasn't born normally. No, I didn't think it's like that. My daddy always told me that everyone was born to make people happy, right? So, you just being here makes me ten times happy, like super duper happy. Sora. What do you mean by I was destined for greatness? Well, that's really not for me to say, but I'm sure you'll find out in your own time. Okay, Sabi? I understand now. Natsumi, take Sean to Ellie's. I'm gonna fight this monster by myself. <laughs> no, wait, Sabi, what are you planning? Are you trying to get killed? What's Sean gonna say? Tell me what's he gonna say if his father dies? It's just I believe that our son is the one. I felt it ever since our son was still in your womb. I'm far too old now not to sue me. But if there was one person I would have to save, or at the very least two, it would definitely be the people that made me who I was today. And who better to carry on my legacy? They're my own son, right? Besides, 
Others will tell Sean what his mother and father died for, but seeing that it's just going to be me, I guess you'll be the one to tell them, right? Sabi, what's making you say all these things? You've never been like this before, so what's coming into you? I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm always fighting away. I'm very distant from all human beings that I actually want to save a human being for a change. I feel like it's my destiny to save all the beings in the world. And should I inherit it to anyone, if I should die, then I inherit everything I have to my son, Natsumi. Goodbye, Sabi. Thank you so much for all that you did. And I thank you, Natsumi, for all the love you've given me. Survive, alright? You do what it takes to survive, Shona. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Is this really all you can do? I'm disappointed. For Shima's legacy, I really hoped you wouldn't be like this. Although, what did I expect? Mortals get weaker and weaker from each passing year. And what are the odds that you be one of those many few who are weak? Honestly, I'm disappointed. The only reason I haven't just snapped your neck now is because, hey! <laughs> Sabi? No! What are you doing here? <laughs> so, the rat has finally came to die at the hands of a demon god. It's too late, you know. My plans are already in motion. My armies march ever forward, and the army of darkness is approaching from each passing year. I will purge humanity from existence. In front of the very gods, in front of the guardians, in front of the deities who refuse to admit their own failures! That's enough! I don't care who you are or what kind of gods you are, if you threaten my village, my son, and or even my wife, and I will destroy you myself! There is no hope for you, Sabi. All that is left for you, my dear friend, is pure and utter despair! Your father gave this to you as a little present. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Not sue me. Are you the only one here? Where's Sabi? Sora, it's you. <gasps> Darcy, where's Sabi? I'm not certain, but he's going into battle by himself. He's what? Where is he? What's the matter? Getting edgy? The thing on his neck. Could that be his weakness? There's only one way to find out. You don't have time to settle down and rest! I win. <laughs> now, Sabi! Get him, you little scout! <laughs> How did you? Now it's all over for you. You dare. You dare. It's over. Whatever you came here for, you ain't touching my son. Oh, you're wrong, Sabi. My plans are all but beginning. <laughs> Sabi! <laughs> and now I will decapitate your head. And with it, I shall steal your very essence and destroy this world! No! <laughs> Nuts.
<laughs> Stop me! Oh, come on! Come on! Please! Wake up! No, 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 no! You can't die like this! Marty... It's already done. My life's already beginning to slip away. No! But... Before I die, there's one last request I need to make. Make sure that my son is safe. That's all I ever ask. Thank you, my friend. No, Sabi! Sabi, don't you dare close those eyes! Don't you dare close those eyes! I mean it! Sabi... <laughs> Not sue me! So I feel my life slipping away. Please take my son and don't walk back, okay? What are you saying? You can pull through this. I know it. I. Sora, it's my last wish. It's alright, I get to be with Sobe. Not sue me! I know it will be hard for my son, but others will tell him what his mother and father died for, and one day he'll understand. So, can I please see him again? My baby boy. Sean. My oh dear Sean. I'm sorry for not giving you the child that you deserve. Do your best. Never give up. And never stop believing in those who love you. Never forget us. My son. I love you. <laughs> Your mother and father loved you with all their heart. I'm sorry we couldn't give you the child that you ever wanted. And I'm sorry I didn't come to find you when I did. You don't need to be sorry. Having my mum and father died as they did, it makes me so happy to know that they believed in me. And because of that, yeah, it may have been rough, but I made a lot of friends because of it. They are my family. Just as they were to me. And most importantly, they loved me. That's all I could ever ask for. <laughs> Sorry I can't stay, but I've got my own kids to look after. But when they grow up, I'll let them come here if you like. <laughs> of course, we'll always be happy to have you, Sean. Thank you for all that you did. And if I ever see this Manny, well, I'll be sure to say the same thing to him, too. Sabi, my dear daughter Natsumi, please, watch over him, now and forever. So, you're not going through the plan to resurrect Kurame, my lord? <laughs> no. That was merely Umbara's doing. What I do is vastly different. Are you sure? From recent events, the war is in its pre-stages, and we're nowhere close to engaging in any battles. Although, due to unnecessary consequences, 
Two of Ombara's men still roam around with a dead corpse at their side. I think it's time to end this. What, what do you mean? I mean, all the insurgents from Ombara are failing countless times. If I had a working heart, it would break. So, if you were working for Ombara, should I eradicate you too? I... I... Master Rosa, I... Be that as it may. My trustworthy apprentice, as well as my ever-faithful companion, Azar, has stated a very obvious fact to me. A very crucial one, that. The downside is I cannot go into any battles, at least not yet. And the weakness on my neck is likely going to be a problem. And so, I must overcome this weakness by myself. <laughs> well, who will be in charge of the war if you're not there? Oh, great Master Rosama. Don't worry, I have contingency in, contingencies in the meantime. However, my new apprentice shall prove much more grand to fight alongside you in the Great War. Provided that you'll do your job well. I will do as planned, Great Master Rosama. So... You're not going to fight, but she is? But what will what will you do? I'm only great if I fight at 100%. That means all my power, all my skills, all my abilities must be at the maximum. Don't you understand? It's vital that I must gain my power back to normal, just as it was before I was decapitated. And I won't rest. Until I'm back to that prime 100%! <laughs> How many times have I told you not to go anywhere near those berries? You know they're too high for you. I know, no. Okay. Now, have one of these. Huh? Don't worry. It will heal, it will heal your leg quite well. Don't worry, it's natural. You say so. Hey, it's all better again! <laughs> Thank you so much, Nestor! You're a good man! <laughs> uh, thanks, but all it take was just one sensor bean. Um, and I'm really glad I can help out in any way I can. But, uh, make sure you don't go up any high trees this time, otherwise I'm gonna have to bring more. Okay. Mr. Sean, I believe the Supreme Kai of Time has ordered your presence. <sighs> yeah, I think it's about time anyway. Well, I better put my nose to the grindstone then. Can I come with you, mister? Yeah, when you're old enough. I'll be sure to tell the Supreme Kai of Time you that you helped. Thank you! <laughs> One day, I'll become just like you. A genuine time patroller. I promise. That's enough. You know, you know all this time. <laughs> you, demon, are you on your own? Please, you need to help Cosima. You need to- Don't worry. I know that your intentions are pure. You used to work for Master Rosima. But... I, 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 he... Tell me, where is Ozima now? Gonna be nice and lovely when you're born. Yeah, I thought you already knew. Don't tell me no one's ever told you. Uh, no, this is the first time I've ever heard of it. Well, 
Congratulations either way. Well, you can tell that yourself. I agree. Hey, it's been a while. Hey, Sora. Long time no see. Sora here suggested the mission, by the way, which I think you'll find pretty interesting. Yep. I figured it would be a quite a nice location. By the way, Sean. <laughs> What's this? A little present from Momo. She said it come in quite good handy. Great, now I have to thank her twice now. <laughs> hey, no worries. I'll be sure to tell that for you. Well, now that that's out of the way, it's time for the mission to begin. <sighs> so, this is White Star Village. Surely looks. <gasps> what? Intruder. <gasps> Judging by the way you look, are you one of them? No. Or are you someone else? Who's them? Oh, never mind. I'm done questioning you. Huh? Wait, wait, wait! Look, this is clearly a misunderstand- ah! You see, you're very capable of fighting! You too! What is this feeling? I think I recognised that boy before. He reminds me of someone, but who? No, it doesn't matter. You seem to be too dead focused. Are you okay back there? What? Dodge this. Dodged it. Now get a load of mine. And while you have it, try this on for size! That will teach Mel some true intruders like you to- uh, What? What? I see. So you're not just an average intruder, are you? Well, let's just say that I'm kind of on a mission right now, so I really don't have time to mess around with you. Although, if it's a fight that you really want, I can grant you that. Just try not to get in my way, okay? Who says I'm in your way? What if you're the one who's in my way? It seems like we're gonna keep disagreeing. Well, ready for round two? Always. That's enough, Manny! <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing here? But, what? But Darcy, is he, uh, he... Huh? Ow, 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 so I'm really sorry about that. It seems like no one's ever taught many manners about anything now, hasn't he? So, I was called here from a certain mission, and apparently there were some massive disturbances. Thunder clouds, thunder... Any idea what that's about? Well, Manny was trying to look for that for almost a few months now, and clearly he hasn't found anything. Not, not true. I did actually find something. I think it... something did yell in the mountains. Something... Kakarot? Wait! Was- wait, you mean you're talking about Broly? Who's Broly? Well, whatever it is, it definitely said Kakarot in the mountains according to Manny. Then that's trouble. No doubt that Umbara's finally back to his business, or worse, even Ozuma. Sorry about attacking you just now, but you know, I've been tracking Ozuma down myself. And just recently I managed to capture two demons working for him. Well, that's... 
Wait, what two demons are you talking about? You got to let Cosmo go! He's hurt! He needs help! Quiet, demon! I will not answer to anyone like you. Hey! What's going on around here? I'm sorry, Mr. Sabi, we were actually going to interrogate someone and... Well, wait a sec. You're one of Ozima's boys, aren't you? So what are you doing here? What? What? I'm asking you, what are you doing here? Look, I don't know about you, but... You know, the Time Patroller asked to let him go. LET HER GO?! DON'T YOU KNOW WHAT SHE IS?! Look, I'm not gonna be mad at you. But I need you to tell me what exactly has been going on. No, it's anything for you to understand, but... Um, Bara, the Demon King of Bara... ...has been raised from existence. So, what?! What? So... She's a wanderer, but why is she doing out here? To be honest, there were three of us, but one of them got so drunk with power that he decided to leave with all the research he's ever gotten over the years, so we can make a brand new warrior. So tell me, what exactly has been going on? Who is this person? Tell me! Demon's gonna actually cry. Well, I guess there's only one choice. We'll let you go. What? Are you insane? Don't you know? It doesn't matter if she's a demon or not. If she says she's innocent, then she's innocent until proven guilty. And that's final. Got it? <laughs> I'll trust your judgment, Time Patroller. You'll not be wrong about this. Cosima! I don't abide to your justice or anything, but you have a way with words. And so, allow me to come along with you as a partner. Deal? Mm. Wow. So that's the famed tree of this land, huh? It surely looks big. How does anyone plant a tree that big? Well, strange as it is, it's where my journey began. I have a lot of fond memories with that tree. Way too many. And so, I want to do my best to protect everyone I know. Well, at least you got good determination on your shoulders, but... The thunder. It's getting intense. <gasps> this place really is coming apart by the seams. Looks like it. Manny, over there! I see light! This looks like the place. I don't know what's inside there, but it's energy's absurd. Be on your guard. Someone's coming. Well... Look who decided to arrive. Time Patrol. <laughs> I know him. According to Stefan's report, he's one of Umbara's guys. So, what do you think you're doing here? Answer me. Why else? To conduct research. Don't give me that! What is your real intent? I can tell it in your heart! My real... <laughs> My real intent? Fine, I'll tell you! It's revenge against Ozima, the one who erased our king! So it was Ozima. What exactly did he do? In order to eradicate Umbara from existence, he chose to do the smart thing and eradicate everything, including the research I worked so hard for, and so... I plan to create a warrior to take revenge on Ozima, and now my plan has finally been put in motion! Well, without any further ado, why don't you show us this proud warrior you're so proud of? Without any further ado, here he is! Awaken! Brownie! <sighs> what? 
That's Broly? He seems different. Why, yes, this is a bio Broly that I made myself. Compliments of the Demon Realm. He has been made with many different bloodlines throughout history. And now, he's going to kill you with it. And especially powered up with the same orb that I used to create a truss in with. What, did you think Taki Dr. Tachyon was originally the one who made him? No, the plans and schematics were all me. And now my Broly is going to destroy you once and for all. Oh, it took a while to get all the Broly's blood together. Right? Kakarot, Broly, stay where you are! Kakarot! Kakarot! Where the hell is Kakarot?! Is... He's insane! Is he? Manny, you need to get away from here! Kakarot... <laughs> <sighs> Impressive. His power. It completely destroyed the landscape. And now, you will be my first blood sacrifice. <laughs> <sighs> Get away! You're not bad. I don't care who you are. But now, I'm gonna end Ozma's reign and you once and for all. Dang it, Manny, you didn't have to push me so hard! But either way, you need to be careful. Broly is incredibly dangerous. We need to subdue him! Forget subduing him. If he carries on living, he'll continue to destroy this entire universe! See? So you, you're, you have a love for fighting too, don't you? Uh... Alright, Darcy. You may have to forgive me, but I'm going all out! Nice! And Manny's beating Broly with just his base form? It's wonderful what a human can do at full power. Heck! I think even Stefan would have a good time with him. Impressive power. I'll give you that. But I'm far from finished yet, young man. So you better prepare yourself. Such persistence. This is getting annoying. Okay, now you're annoying. Ah. Suck on that, you monster. I don't think so. Now it's my turn. Now it's my turn, Broly. His appearance, it, it just changed. What is that? Hmm. I was actually holding on to this until now. This is Super Saiyan 4. Okay, Broly. I'm taking you in. This boy. Why does he remind me a lot of Sabi? Not bad. Now it's my turn. Now Galagon! Hey, 
What's the matter? Can't you keep up with me, Mr. Legendary Super Saiyan? Alright, now I'm taking you in. Lightning shock surprise! That's it. Give him hell, Time Patrol! <laughs> you seem to be very confident of your skills. But I have something to protect too, don't you know? <laughs> Come on now. You were said you were made with the blood of Brolies, correct? Well, I know there's a good Broly in there somewhere waiting to come out, so come on. Give your good Broly genes a chance. No. I create murder. Ruination. I spare no one. What is he doing? Honestly, I even scare myself. That's quite the amazing power you have. <laughs> Umbara, I don't know why I've even doubted you. That's it, Broly. Send my enemies to hell already. So you're the one who caused this disturbance. <laughs> Is that Kakarot? By the way, I thought you were against the idea, Vegeta. It's our only choice. Let's do it. Fusion! Ah! Ugh. Yeah. Uh, Broly! I've been waiting for a round two. You ready to start things off? Let's go! Unbelievable. Whoever those two were, they just combined into a single warrior. What is this technique? How bizarre. Okay, Broly, let's go. Just a fair, clean fight. Still berserk as always, I see. Well, I'm sorry, but this fusion doesn't last long, so I'm going to have to end you now. Ah, more powerful than before, I see. Huh? Alright, now I'm serious. It's time to go full power. Seriously, is that all you can do? I'm very disappointed. Will you just quit already? Not until you're dead it. And now, big bang, have a have a Top of that, he's invincible. Just what is that monster done to Broly? That's unbelievable. I just don't believe it. That one should have been stronger than him, but he seems different somehow. Ozuma, just what have you done to this one? <laughs> I see that Ozuma's given you quite the power up, hasn't he, Broly? Well, no matter. 
Whether you're the real Broly or not, this ends today. No. <laughs> 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 Now then, shall I put you out of your misery? You're mine now! What's the matter? You're getting slow! You're like a butt, Broly. That's why you can never beat me. Now you're mine. Oh, trap! You're pretty good. Impressive. Most impressive. But this future can only last so long, so I'll be ending this right now. I don't believe it. He's losing against Broly? And now, I'll finish you right now. <laughs> Got your beat! Uh, uh, yeah. uh, ah! Just a little bit more and then victory will be mine! Uh, ah! <laughs> Come on, Broly, what's the matter? Ah! Holy cow! That power, it's more than before! Just what have you gone through, Broly? That does it. Now I'm really ticked. And now... Say goodbye, you bastard! Dang it. Sabi, you risked your life to save me, and I won't let you down again! <laughs> Well, if you want a death wish, then I'm fine to give you that very same request. I can't believe it. He's actually going through with it. Why is he risking his life? So you intend to avenge an old friend of yours. It won't do you anything good since you're about to die. Strong. Far too strong for just me. But if I should die to you, then so be it! If you're so angsty to die, then join with your friends in hell. Feel my might. Do you understand now? You're just a worthless little maggot. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am just a worthless maggot. I'm not worthy to fight alongside Sabi or, or even this time patroller. 
I'm not going to be worthy of anything. But when I put my life on the line, that's a different story. That's how. That's how I managed to survive this long. He's focusing his power into a single point. And now, Brawly, here's a lesson for you. Never underestimate the power that comes from the world. The power that comes in White Star Village. And most importantly, the power that dwells inside me! What? What? What is that? Manny, what did you do? Ah, such power. What are you? I am Manny. And you are history! Not yet. All of my power, all of my spirit, it's time to use it all to finish it! And you are gone! Broly! Is this really what I could do? Sabi, not sue me. <laughs> now then, are you ready to die, little bug? <laughs> The strongest of all warriors, all your years of loathing and grieving, and you're still as weak as you were before. You will neither be missed nor remembered. Go and scatter into the shadows. Get up. You must get up. Get up! <sighs> 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 
sorry. I... <gasps> Wait a minute, you're... Jiriku! Seems like you forgot this behind. You really are klutzy, you know that? <laughs> now... What will you do? How will you hope this battle will end? We're gonna win! WE'RE GONNA WIN! And now, little worm, it's time to die. You cannot defeat me. Maybe not. But he can! Now, Momo, it's time we save the universe! Let's go, Broly! Uh, all you persistent little bugs should go and scatter into the shadows already! The only one scattering back into the shadows along with your master is you! What Manny did... What Manny did... He did to protect the ones he cared about. You, a lab experiment who was created from many genes over the years, could never understand what it means to protect one's livelihood, to protect oneself. And that is what true courage is all about. But you, your courage was only created. Your Saiyan spirit molded into another spirit. Do you really think that someone like you could be ever be taken seriously to be Ozma's mighty warrior? Bio freak. You think I'm scared? I'll show you how scared I really am! Broly? This is farewell! Thanks, Momo. It seems like the, the impact of the battle has impacted on my neck. You truly are something. I shall rule this world. And I have all the time in the world to do so. <sighs> Looks like everything's finally back to normal. <sighs> well, Sora, it looks like you won the bet. Looks like you did do it. And, more importantly, you did use it. I'm really glad that Jiraku finally made it for me. Yeah, if it wasn't for his help, then the whole universe would have been doomed. But more importantly... Sean, Manny, you did so well. <laughs> can we, can we get married? Just you and me. <laughs> This will work, Chiraku. I'm certain. Although my powers had faded during Prison Planet, I can use the remainder of my powers to revive your friend. Besides, a long time ago, someone did the same thing for me, and his name is Sean. Cosima. <laughs> <laughs> It's alright, Misery. He'll be fine. And he'll continue to be fine. After all, we have people like Sean to protect us. Are you sure about this decision? Well, as much as I would love to stay, I really can't. There are whole new worlds I have to protect, not just this one. But no matter what happens, I know that I'll always be a member of the Time Patrol and I will return someday. But not until I'm strong enough to take on the entire demon army. And when I come back, I'll be even stronger, I promise. Well, I guess I can't deny your judgement. 
as the supreme cut of time, I'll gladly accept your proposal. Thank you. For everything, sure. Apart from the looks of things, it looks like it means that Sean's going to be leaving Compton City for a while to train. <laughs> no fair! I'm sure he'll come back soon, I promise. Besides, he wouldn't just leave you behind, Lee. But I was his student. Masters never leave students behind. That's not fair. The, all we can do is just prepare ourselves. When he returns, he's going to get stronger. And I need to get stronger too. I take it you'll do the same? Well, although he's gone, I'll, I'll try my hardest. Even though he's gone up, I will be depressed about it. It's my master's wishes after all. Aww, that's so sweet. Are you sure about this, Sean? Sure as I've ever been. A lot of people would have died and been reincarnated to get what you want. At least from what I see. Yeah, but it won't be gone forever. I'll be back to it. It's a win-win. You seem to be a little bit... I don't know. You seem different today. Well... After all the years that I've spent in an apocalyptic future, and after everything turned around, I felt like I should start a new chapter. And if I should ever die, or if I should ever get lost, and that's a big if there, if I ever do die, at least I know that I'll have the best people in the world to make sure that my job is done. After all, Dragon Balls are cheaper than healthcare, you know. And who knows, maybe someday, someday there might be people that might outmatch me someday, even if it's myself, and I can't wait to see it when it happens, or what kind of future that everyone holds. This isn't goodbye. This is... Until next time. Are you ready, Sean? Yeah. And so, the Sean from the alternate future left Canton City. For now, but not forever, his story as this legend will continue. Drink my